Hey everybody, this is Brian again, back in the shop. Uh, last week we finished up the wheelhouse panels, and today we're going to start making the side panels. Got a sheet of 18 gauge cold rolled on the bench, <clears throat> and this is the pattern for the, the rear quarter basically. And we'll get those laid out, and like you've seen me do before, we're going to spray the sheet down with some layout dye, scribe it, and then get everything cut out. And, uh, and then I'll pull the hammer forms out and you can see how we get this bent around. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, I got the pieces cut out. I got the hammer forms up on the bench. Uh, I made these probably about 30 years ago. They're three quarter inch plate because that's the, the thickness of the flange. We bend it down and over again, and that's the perfect thickness. And you can see this is for a very early two A or an MB or GPW with the axe and shovel indents right here. I ground those in in case I need to make those. But basically we're going to sandwich the metal in between these, clamp it down real good, and then start to hammer form it over the, sh over the form here. And you'll see how that goes when I get to it. So let me get the piece put in there, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, here's our sheet metal sandwiched between the two hammer forms. I got it up on 4x4 four four blocks. Everything's lined up perfectly, and um, it's clamped down real tight so it can't move. Last thing you need here is, is that piece to move on you. So as you come around the corner here, you could see a real, a real tight radius right in this area. And if you look on an original body tub, you'll see how they handled it. They, they kind of cut some material out and they came real sharp around here and just brought a little bit of material down. And that's a, a detail on all original Jeeps. Uh, not the Filipino ones, but uh, an original uh, body tub is like that. And then we're going to have a nice even flange going through here. Approximately three quarters of an inch is going to get bent down. And again, that's going to be nice and even after we bend it out. It's not going to be all ragged and jagged like those overseas tubs. And then um, the back is just a standard half inch flange down. And everything is lined up right. <clears throat> and we're going to be ready to start hammer forming in just a little bit. I'll show you some details on original tub. And, uh, and talk you through it. Okay, here's a piece of that original um, 3B tub that I'm that I'm rebuilding here, and uh, this is just a short section of of the side panel, and um, it was in tough shape, so that's why we're making new ones. And you could see on on the body tubs, there was always a another little bent piece in there, so this thickness was doubled up where all the footman loops went through, and we'll make that a little bit later on. And you can see from the factory how they kind of relieve this area here because there's a lot of material to come around this corner and shrink in there. Um, we're not going to do that on this particular panel. We're going to uh, we're going to cut a section out and weld it in. I'll show you how I get the curve and everything later on. But you can see how rough it was from the factory. And you usually when I'm uh, when I'm doing these. Um, I get questions from guys and stuff and they want to take some plywood forms and see if they can hammer out a, a quarter panel. If you look in this area right here, how bumpy this is right in here. This is all metal that needs to come around here, or in this case we're going to be hammering that down. But on every, every original tub you'll see a, a lot of puckering right here. And that's because there's so much material to shrink. So if you were to go out and make yourself some plywood forms and try and do that, you just smash the wood all to pieces. 
So before anybody tries it, it's not going to work for you. It just there's too much shrinking that has to go on in that area. It's this area right here, and there's a lot of stretching in this area right here too, and you'll mangle up some some plywood forms. And like I say, these forms are about 30 years old, and there's hundreds and hundreds of quarter panels that have come off here, and they're still like brand new. Just every now and again, give them a little light sanding. And, uh, and and they're still like new so I'm gonna show you how the hammer form works and uh, I'll be right back with you okay here's some various hammers that I use to get this bent around here it's got a high crown in it that's good for stretching this area out right in here along with these guys and then I've got some flat ones that'll do some final finishing and planishing once it's once it's bent down there and these big heavy dead blow hammers just help move material uh, when you're just starting to get it down around an area like that just trying to get it moved into shape and then these two are good in the areas you want to stretch without marking them and what's nice about these is you could put shapes into them and they're easy to form so these have beat hundreds of panels but they're still going strong and then if you're trying this and you, and you get a little better at it and stuff and a lot of times I just I'll buzz around the whole thing. This is a aircraft rivet gun, um, not an air chisel. That's that's kind of brutal. This is an actual rivet gun. I think it's a 4x rivet gun, um, and this works real good. Even if you don't take the whole panel down, it's very nice for for doing the final planishing all around. You know, on the steel here, it comes out super smooth. So this is just uh, an end use tool. But I'll show you that later on once the panel's getting close to being finished. All right, let's start hammering. Okay, we have some nice sharp forms here, so we want to bring the metal down, uh, you know, sharp around that. But we don't want to concentrate way on the inside, so we tear it or anything. So I'm just going to bring it down easy with this dead blow hammer. It work a little bit at a time. Don't take any one area down too too much further than the other area. You just have to move your clamps as you go. Okay, here's the first area where you got to think about doing some shrinking. So we're going to get that brought down a little better. And this whole area in here, that whole thing, is going to be getting stretched. So we'll take this soft face hammer and start bringing it down. Okay, so we got a flat face hammer here. And we're just going to start shrinking that area around the corner light blows just get it to shrink Okay, you can see why they did that little cut out there. That's a lot of material to bring around a tight radius. So we got that smoothed out pretty good for now. We'll just keep on stretching around this area and, and we'll get that going.
Okay, now in this area, same as this side, we got we got some shrinking to do again. You can see we're making little tucks here. It's not as tight radius as this side, but we still got to go careful so that we don't get out of control or out of shape here. Okay, when you're trying to get these tucks shrunk out, you're going to start at the top and you're going to move down. You're going to start at the top of this one and move down. Don't trap it in here yet. We're going to get that metal to, to shrink into itself like that. So start at the top and work it down. Okay, we got that all shrunk into itself and we're ready for final planishing when we get to that point we still got some areas to take down and we still got to stretch this whole area out so let me get a little bit of that done we'll be right back with you okay i got this edge brought down uh still a little bumpy and wavy we're gonna we're gonna give it a rough planish with that round face hammer right there and um, i'll show you how that comes out doing is we're sharpening up this edge here you can see it's kind of a real gradual in there we're going to sharpen that up nice and tight so it's a so it's a good looking edge so the hammer forms are, are nice and smooth and perfect so we're just going to bang into those gently and, and we just continue stretching that as we go I think you can see the difference in the edge. You see where I've sharpened it up real nice there, and then it gets kind of gradual in there. Hope you can pick that up on the camera. That's coming out real nice, and we'll be ready to final planish that pretty soon. Okay, here's another area here we got it bent over and when you're bending it over you want to take it you don't want to trap material up between the two panels here so you want to take it down easy and you'll see it's kind of lumpy and gradual here and this is where we'll sharpen it up again That's a nice tight edge. It's fitting the form real good. And that's ready when we go over the whole thing for, for final finishing. And this whole bottom side basically is ready to go. And next time, um, the video is getting kind of long. We've been having a hard time getting the long ones up on YouTube. So we're trying to keep it short. Next time we're going to start banging all this down, stretching this out. And I'll show you what a bear of a time it is shrinking all this metal in. And then we'll flip the forms, put the inside flange on, and then pop it off the forms and, and put the curve around. So that's where we're going to end it today. And um, 
uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know if you if you like the way the series is going or not and uh, give me some feedback and uh, we'll keep going on the body build okay see you next time